All right, so today we're gonna to be doing a little unboxing of the new Roomba i7. This is the 7150 version of it, so it doesn't have the auto emptying bin, but as far as I can tell, this is the exact same Roomba as that one, just without the auto emptying bin. It's got the new rubber rollers and the same old agitator, the same ball wheel, the same uh, charging sensors as seen before in previous ones. Uh, that does look new. That looks like it's a new camera for detecting and mapping out the home, which this one does do. I believe the Roomba 980 also did the same thing where it'd map out the room. But this one is just a lot newer and it's got a little bit newer technology. So let me go ahead and get the box open and we'll continue from there. So upon opening the box, here it is. Nice, shiny. It does look different than the 690 over there, as you can tell. It doesn't have the same carrying handle. It does have a tiny one right up front. Uh, it's a little better, in my opinion, than the old one. The old one did feel a little flimsy. This one does feel a little bit more uh, durable. Um, this Roomba does surprisingly feel lighter than the 690 did. Um, just a quick look here. We still do have the clean button right up top here. I believe it's a touch button along with these two being touch buttons. This one's your your home button. So that one sends it home no matter where it's at. And this one is your spot cleaning, which I didn't know for about the first uh, month I had my 690. But you can actually pick this Roomba up and set it down and hit the spot clean button and it will clean the area that you set it in. Kind of like uh, if you swept up somewhere, you can have it vacuum that position. And right up here is what makes it stand stand above all the other ones. It does have another camera here. And this one's also used for mapping the room. And it also helps guide it where that one only had the sensor on the top there. This one also does have it to help it with it. And it's bumper. Still does have the bumper like the 690 did which is also just another thing it uses to track around. Um, let's take a look at the bin here. So the bin does seem to be different. Let me set you down really quick. So the, the bin does come out a different way. You push this button, oh, and it slides out. That's actually pretty nice. It lets you know that you can wash it, but not to wash the filter. The filter is different than the old one. The old one was a more flat concave filter. I believe this one's a HEPA filter. So it will filter out things such as pet dander, allergens, you name it. It is a lot smaller than the other filter. And it does look like it contains a secondary filter inside of there on top of the HEPA filter. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Opens up just like that. You got a little release button right here. And you have a secondary, okay, it's just a screen. A screen to block debris from coming in. Supposedly this new Roomba has a new suction system opposed to the old one, which had a little tiny fan. Uh, this one's got a much higher rated suction. Inside this area right here is where it's at. It does have rubber gaskets, which is kind of nice. It's more sealed off than the the old Roomba, or the 690 rather. I'm going to be just making most of my comparisons in this video to the 690's uh, performance, seeing as that was the only other Roomba I've owned. And we got a little plastic that we have here wasted. Wasted for the sake of storing a Roomba in. And we got the base here. This base, it looks almost exactly the same as the old base did for the 690 um, aside from maybe the the rubberized uh, base right here which a problem that I had with my old 690 is sometimes it would stop going home which we're gonna make the home right here and I believe that's because the base wasn't very sturdy this one does seem like it will be a little more sturdy. Let's see what we got here. We got some manuals. 
If you're one of those nerds that are into manuals, do the i-series guide, it probably just lets you know, warranty, I got an extended warranty on it so I'm not really going to worry too much about that. And it looks like this is the last part of what comes with this. I do see batteries in here, which is a little, oh the batteries, so this right here, this is something to keep your Roomba from going to certain areas. I don't remember what they call these. Oh, it's called a virtual wall or invisible wall. So what it does is it just puts out an infrared signal for, um, to my knowledge, that'll keep the Roomba from going into certain areas. You can have it do a area effect, which tells it to stay away from one area. So one area that I did put this in that I found very useful was over near the shoes over here. It helps keep the Roomba just from getting over here and doing some off-roading on some some shoes. But the line one also works well, the top one here, for keeping it out of, uh, say, the kitchen over there. It would uh, keep it from going over into the kitchen and wherever else you might need it to not go. Um, we got the power cable for the base. We got an extra filter here which will be pretty nice, seeing as uh, all my 690 stuff is pretty useless now. An extra agitating brush and some batteries. Other than that, it seems to be pretty similar in packaging anyways. I'll go ahead and set those here for now. Um, I was going to compare the old filter of the 690. They will not be compatible, obviously, because Here's some of the old brushes for the 690 as well, which I'd recommend buying uh, aftermarket. I got mine off Amazon because they work just the same, but they're way cheaper. Here's the old filter. I know a lot of you might not care because you're looking for the i7 review, but this is what the old filter on the 690 looks like. And the old agitators, which they look exactly the same, so I am in luck when it comes to needing to buy new ones. This one does have the screw with it though, which I'll probably just switch out that same screw and possibly bore it out if it calls for it. Not the screw, but the, the agitator spot. All right, well, let's get it plugged in and see what we can do here. So now this next part, I'm just gonna do a little test for my own knowledge here, seeing as a uh, so the base is pretty much the same. I cannot tell any difference between the Roomba 691 and the new i7 one. So I'm just going to get some of this shit out of the way. And we're going to go ahead and uh, see how well it travels home. Because the old, I know I keep referencing it as the old, but the 690 is a, it's a very good Roomba for the price. If you're looking for a Roomba to clean your house, your apartment or whatever in under $300, I think this Roomba is amazing for that. But let's go ahead and see if it gets back to the base a little more efficiently than the, the 690 did. So first, let's go ahead and make sure we don't have any tabs to keep the battery from starting. As you can see here, the changeover changes. Uh, or the year over changes of this Roomba is it's got the rubber agitators. These are much better at picking up than the hair and bristles. <clears throat> bristles and the tiny one rubber brush it used to have. Um, this looks like the cliff sensor. And I cannot see where we need to turn it on at. Maybe it doesn't come charged. If that's the case, that kind of is a bummer because the last one did come charged. So we'll go ahead and set it down on the charger then. So this one's light is a little more fancy. It's got a little ring. Hopefully we don't get a red ring of death. Am I right, guys? <laughs> uh, whatever. Anyways, it does look like it doesn't come charged, so I will continue this video after it's charged. All right, so I just told Google to send them the Roomba home. And so this is just gonna be a little test to see how long it takes it to get home. 
Now, I haven't let it do its first pass through yet, where it kind of maps this floor of the house, but this will let us know how quickly it works. So far, it goes significantly quicker back to the home base. It's already found its way, whereas the Roomba 690 would still be floundering around over where it came from. And as you can hear there too, it already it stopped the rollers from from operating while it was coming into the home base, where the Roomba 690 would not stop the rollers. Now I would explore a little more of the features as to what it actually does, but right now we're actually doing a update on the Roomba. So I won't be able to explore any more of the features so far, but my first impression of the Roomba i7 is that it is significantly quieter than the Roomba 690. Um, it's got some quality of life changes that they've uh, changed on the Roomba that make it a lot better. I did notice that while I was navigating the home when I had it on a short clean cycle just to see what it sounded like, uh, it navigates through the home significantly better as well on top of all the other changes. Um, other than that, this Roomba is got all the bells and whistles that the Roomba 980 had and then some. And over the 690, it does have significantly uh, better features. So if you're looking to upgrade from the 690 to the i7, it is a big jump upgrade and I would highly recommend it. Other than that, um, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time.